Hey folks, Matt Horwitz, LLCUniversity.com. Six reasons why you should not form an LLC in Delaware. I just got finished writing this and figured it would be an excellent piece to make a video on and we get so many phone calls. This is such a pain point for so many people and they make a lot of mistakes here. Note, if you live in Delaware or you do business in Delaware, this information does not apply to you. You should form an LLC in Delaware. But if you don't live in Delaware or you don't do business in Delaware and you've heard that you should form an LLC in this magical state, let me save you a lot of money and headaches. Don't form an LLC in Delaware. The disadvantages of forming an LLC in Delaware far outweigh the perceived advantages. Let's look at an example. Nathan is from Connecticut. He reads online that Delaware is the best state to form an LLC in. So he forms an LLC in Delaware. He's a resident of Connecticut. He already pays taxes in Connecticut and his home office is based in Connecticut. Most people aren't aware of but there's a lot of issues with this setup. Illegally transacting business without authority. Nathan's Delaware LLC is doing business illegally in Connecticut. The Connecticut Secretary of State is going to enforce its laws and will soon be sending Nathan a citation in the mail with a fine. So he needs to register as a foreign LLC. To remedy the citation, and because it's the law, Nathan, Nathan must now, re it's hard to read your own writing. <laughs> Nathan must now register his Delaware LLC as a foreign LLC in Connecticut. So he needs to file a Connecticut foreign LLC registration, pay the state filing fee, which is $120 in Connecticut. It's a lot more expensive in other states. And then he must keep this foreign LLC in compliance with Connecticut law. That means filing an annual report every year and paying that fee, as well as paying the Connecticut business entity tax of $250 every other year. And remember, this is already on top of him paying the $90 registration fee in Delaware, the $300 required annual franchise tax in Delaware, and $125 every year for his Delaware registered agent. In short, Nathan now needs to maintain two LLCs. He has a domestic LLC in Delaware and a foreign LLC in Connecticut, and it gets worse. So Nathan was deceived into forming a Delaware LLC because he read it was a tax-friendly state. And while this is true, it really only applies to large multi-million dollar companies and not small business LLCs. And look, don't just take our word for it. Read what the Del Delaware Secretary of State has to say about the hype. I guess you can't click the link, but the link's below the video. Most people are unaware of this simple fact. Taxes are paid where the money is made, not where your LLC is set up. So that means Nathan still owes Connecticut taxes, which could include, but aren't limited to sales and use tax, business entity tax, withholding tax, corporate business tax, net income tax, surtax, franchise tax, property tax, and more. And remember, Nathan's a resident of Connecticut. And an LLC is a pass-through entity, which means the profits of the LLC are reported on his federal income tax return, as well as his Connecticut personal income tax return. In short, the whole reason that he formed the Delaware LLC in the first place is defeated. It's not saving him any money on taxes. In fact, this whole loophole is unknowingly costing him a lot more money. Well, what about the Delaware Court of Chancellery and Delaware law? I'm sure you've read online something along these. Uh, the Delaware Court of Chancery is the oldest and most established business court in America. And the Delaware has the most robust business case law. Who cares? What are you starting? Some lawsuit rampant company where you're going to go to court every other month? Look, take a reality check. Most of the companies, not that this information is not true, it just doesn't apply to you. And again, take a reality check. Most of the companies promoting Delaware, they don't give a crap about your business's long-term success and well-being and all the headaches that you're going to have to deal with. They just want your money. So don't be misled into the headaches. Focus your energy on running a legitimate and a successful company in the state where you actually live and do business in. All right, other industry, get a little angry here. Other, in other industry related issues. So again, we get ugh, got painful phone calls from our readers about these issues. Recently, a guy from Pennsylvania running a trucking company in Pennsylvania formed an LLC in Delaware. So later he tried to register his trucks as being in Delaware with the Department of Transportation. They denied his application because he was not a resident of Delaware. And that ended up costing him $20,000 of business that month. So I'm not gonna list out dozens and dozens of examples here, but I just wanna let you know, this information you're not gonna find on websites promoting Delaware. And you're probably gonna go going to hit industry specific quirks where you're gonna have issues with your out of state LLC. Um, all right, takeaway. Instead of forming an LLC out of state and then later learning that you need to register your out of state LLC as a foreign LLC in your home state, paying for an extra registered agent, paying annual reports in two states, having tax liabilities potentially in two states, and dealing with the headaches of two LLCs, 
just form the LLC in the home state and the state where you're doing business. If you'd like more information on this whole topic, we have another video, link below. Here's an excuse I hear, but I work online. Even if you run a business from home or online, you're still a resident of your home state and you're still transacting business in that state. You can't get around your state's tax obligations simply by forming an LLC out of state. If you really want to, you gotta move. So again, put your time and energy into building a successful company, not wasting your time on a handful of loopholes you've read on the internet. Again, if you live in Delaware, you do businesses in Delaware, just please disregard this form an LLC in Delaware. If not, form your LLC in your home state and or the state where you're transacting business. Hope this information is helpful. Take care.